Welcome back, everybody. This is Weedy with Weeby Gaming. I'm returning with my first in a series of videos on my initial playthrough of uh, No Man's Sky. Well, not playthrough, but gameplay. Um, I'm going to let you all know right ahead, ahead of time, I do not have a gaming rig, so this is the best quality graphics I was able to get, but I have seen this game on my friend's uh, setup, and it does look a bit better. Um, but this isn't bad. So, just letting you know that ahead of time. So, I'm just going to go see what's what, um, and uh, let you see it too. So, there's my ship, and I did get a pre-order bonus of another ship. Uh, looks like redeem bonus content. Um, uh, how do you get it to... Oh, you have to hold down the mouse, mouse button. Okay. Alright. Check out this ship. And it's... Uh, looks a little smaller, but... A little bit... More, uh... Cooler looking design. But I'm not really sure how this compares to the basic ship, because I haven't even looked at that yet. <clears throat> but, anyways, uh, let's see, we got a pulse engine here, launch, thruster, shields, uh, alright, well, uh, these look like just stats over here, nothing to really interact with, weapons and hyperdrive, <clears throat> okay, well, I think I'll fiddle with that in a bit. Alright, so we're looking around here. There's this other ship. And... Okay, it's damaged. Well, that doesn't look very good. I need some kerite sheet. I need three more of those. So we'll have to figure out how to craft those, I guess. Or find them, I, I don't know. Alright, so it kind of looks like similar kind of set up here. Um, maybe not maybe not quite as good of equipment or as much equipment. Maybe it looks like it has slightly less storage space. <clears throat> so I got one carite sheet and I need three more to fix this launch thruster. Okay. Right, how do I get out of here again? Um, there's system, planet, controls. Okay. That's not really telling me. Hmm. What to do? Okay. Um, boy, this is embarrassing. Um, all right, it's inventory. Don't need that. Oh, E. Same thing I used to get in. All right, debris. Huh. Kind of looks like that thing from Tron, the original Tron. Yes. No. Remember that thing? Well, I do anyway. Um, looks like some kind of a tutorial type thing. So, yeah. Uh, those are helpful. And he disappeared. Well, that was not very helpful. So, alright. I guess we'll just keep on exploring. What do we got here? Debris. Of course, I don't have the thing I need to look at debris. Uh, cargo drop. Shielding plate. Well, shielding is usually pretty handy. Um, another cargo drop. Oh, empty. Thanks. Thanks for that handy cargo drop. Um, garbage. 
Oh, technology. Some kind of photon cannon upgrade unit. All right. I I approve of that. <clears throat> um, not really seeing it here though, so I don't know how to use that upgrade. What's that? It's uh, I don't see anything. Weird. Okay. So let's check out this ship. I think... I mean, being that it was uh, a bonus, it probably is better than the standard. And it kind of looks that way. Let's compare here. Um, it's got one more storage slot. It has phase cannon in addition to the pros, proton cannon. So, yeah, that's... That's good. Looks like both thrusters are still broken on it, so it doesn't let me skip a part, which I eh, can't really be upset about. And it has hyperdrive where the other one does not. So that's cool. And better weapons, which kind of already mentioned. So, yeah, I think we should go with that. And there it is. <coughs> kind of looks like that other uh, copyright protected proprietary design of another single person space vehicle from the franchise we all love so much <clears throat> okay so we need iron this is destroy all right yep that seems to be working it's a good thing that this works, because I don't know how else I would destroy it. And... we got an overheat. Well, what can you do? You just have to wait. Alright, now what? Mm, I guess more iron. I'm not sure how much we need to make those parts, but it's probably a decent amount. I guess we can transfer that to the ship, and transfer that to the ship. And what is this thing? What are you looking at? Are you rebuilding the rock that I just destroyed? Now you're looking at me. What? Yeah. So what? It's a rock. I blew it up. Want to fight about it? But you kind of look like you do want to fight about it. Well, I'll draw first blood. Mm, maybe I should go hide out for a minute. Let's see if he can get me in here. Yeah, doesn't look like he wants to try it. But it doesn't look like I can fire my uh, ship weapons while I'm sitting on the ground either. Which is unfortunate. Let's see. Phase beam, left click to activate. Well, it's, something tells me that's not all there is to it. Because I'm left clicking and it's not doing nothing. Yeah, okay, we're recharged. I think we can take him on. Wish I had something better than a mining beam to use. But I just started, so I'm sure I'll find something eventually. Bam! And we got some titanium out of it. Okay, let's just go hide out in case there's any more of them. 
down here among the uh, hopefully not poisonous or aggressive plant species. Uh, I think I think we might be good. Okay. Jetpack. I love jetpacks. They're always handy. What's this? Some kind of accomplishment? What did I do? Use the jetpack? I destroyed a sense. Yeah, that was like five minutes ago. Alright, well, better late than never, I guess. Um, yeah, I think we have enough iron to make those, uh, uh, sheet things. Alright, what did I just do to that? <clears throat> Alright, E, to craft the product. I want to craft the carite sheet. E... And then hold down the mouse button, and there we go. So we need four. Let's make two more. Oops. What did I do? That's uh, not what I want. How do I get rid of that? Mm, just exit. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Okay, we got four. Let's fix this. All right, it's fixed. Now we got to fix the pulse engine. We need heridium, carite sheet, and zinc. There's nothing else I can craft here. And I don't know what to do with this shielding plate. Doesn't look like it can put it on the deflector shield. I don't know, maybe we have to craft something else, or... I can't click and drag it, that doesn't work. Hmm. Would be nice to be able to use it. with that later. So, iridium, carite sheet, zinc. I'm gonna need to be able to recharge my mining laser getting kind of low. So how do I do that? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Exosuit. multi-tool, I'm thinking. There we go. So, how do I recharge? Need isotope elements. Which I have none. So, where do I get those? Ah, isn't that convenient? I think I will destroy that. Alright. So, plants, I'm guessing? That makes sense that they would have carbon. So, yeah, looks like it. Mm. 
Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. And overheating again. Let's charge it up real quick. What this button? No. Oh, click and hold. Okay. Alright. Analysis visor. I need iron to do that. I've got that. Um, bino binocular tagging device. Oh, right here. And that's fixed. What about this one? Scanner. I need carbon. Is this, this is the scanning, or no, the tagging visor or whatever. Alright, so I tagged uh, rock. Well, good job me. Check out that discovery, a rock. And... The one thing about this game so far I've noticed is the controls don't seem to be very intuitive. I mean, some of them are, but some of them, I don't know, it's like it... It doesn't, just doesn't come to me naturally, like clicking and holding down the mouse button. It's not particularly hard, but it's just not something I would ordinary oh. Uh, interrupted by one of these guys again. Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do. Wish these guys would leave me alone though. I'm just uh picking plants and freaking rocks. It's not like I'm uh wrecking up the joint. And I'm a really bad shot, which doesn't help. Okay. Let's finish this guy off. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I mean, the controls aren't particularly hard, they just don't come naturally. Um, I guess I'm used to be clicking and dragging or whatever. I don't know. Like, some games you can just pick up and it either has a tutorial that kind of walks you through the basic controls or that you just figure them out as you go pretty easily, but this one, it's, it's not, like I said, it's not hard, it's just different. And I'm I'm kind of wondering if that was like the game designer's I, deliberate decision to do that because they're kind of just throwing you in this universe and telling you to figure out the universe and see what's what and so maybe that figuring out the controls is meant to be that way too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what their motivation was or if there was a actual plan for that but like I said the controls are a little different to get used to. Your basic walking around ones are the same WASD and, and the mouse, but, yeah, interacting and managing your inventory and things like that. Um, but, as with most games, it's probably become second nature after a while and you don't have to think about it anymore. Man, these things are getting annoying. I think I'm just going to try and avoid them in the future. Uh, I'd rather be exploring honestly right now than fighting drones. I think that was the only one. Okay. So I 
think. Mm. Might as well top this off, I guess. And fix the scanner. So now we got the scanner fixed. Press C to activate local scan. Press F to operate. Alright. Now what? Now I need to gather 200 heridium. Oh, a grenade. Grenades are always nice for blowing shit up. Um, how do I use it? I don't even see it. It ain't that. Now let's send this stuff back to the uh, ship. Okay, so... I'm guessing that's where our Heridium is, at the resource deposit that just popped up. So I'm going to try heading over that way. This is kind of a nice, uh, nice looking planet anyway. Lush green landscape. A little bit chilly at minus 3.8 degrees C, but uh, apparently it's not bothering my guy too. Whoops. Well, I don't think I'm getting back out of here this way. Ouch. Oh, what happened? I fell? Was that an accomplishment? Destroyed five sentinels. Yeah, again, this thing's kind of uh, Johnny come lately on the achievements thing. Alright, so maybe we can get to where we're going from underground. Plutonium. That's probably handy. I'm hoping I have a very thick lead container on me. Otherwise, that stuff's gonna burn. Okay. So I'll head this way. Um, am I getting iron from that plant? That doesn't seem right. Oh, it must be coming from that rock behind it. Am I not hitting the plant? That's what I'm aiming for. Hmm. I guess I just, uh, can't shoot the plant. We'll shoot that plant. Yeah, Let's shoot that plant. There we go. Oh, man. This is going to get old pretty quick. I don't know why these freaking sentinels are... This must, this planet must belong to like, must have been established by Greenpeace or something, and they left these damn drones here. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here without uh, having to deal with any more of those things. I don't, don't want to go back that way. I think that guy's up on the surface, so it probably won't bother me. Alright, let's go this way. Hmm, more of them. It's always a good sign. What is that? Nothing, I guess. Just decoration. Okay. Great big underground cavern. Filled with, uh... Filled with vegetation. I don't know. 
apparently they photosynthesized differently on this planet. like a dead end. Yep. That's a dead end. Alright, so... Head back. can't scan these ones, so those are just decoration too. Scan that red thing. Oh, it's scanning the big rock, which, okay, cool, I discovered something new, but scan the red thing, please. I guess it doesn't want to. Collect the plutonium, and I'm apparently hitting the rock on that one. Look around for those sentinel things. I keep thinking I hear, I hear them. <laughs> I think I'm getting—they're making me paranoid now. I'll just mine this rock for a little bit. Why not? we'll need the iron for something. transfer some of this stuff back to the ship. Okay. I think I'm done with that rock. Alright, I got another great big underground cavern here. And I'm honestly not sure which way to go. That doesn't. That leads to a dead end on the frickin' wall. Um, so that's not going to be the right way to go. And that other way, that doesn't seem. I don't know, it doesn't seem right. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Maybe I should just head back to the ship. Get back above ground probably a lot easier to travel above ground than it is on in these caves. I'll just travel in a straight line as far as I can to that objective they gave me and uh, if we have to get underground there then, then we'll worry about it there. Okay. So there's the ship over there. What is that? Eh, apparently something I... Another thing I can't scan. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder how it... Uh, how it determines which things to show you on the scan and which it doesn't. Eh, I don't know. Okay, well, I think this is going to wrap up uh, part one of my video. Um, come back for part two, where hopefully we'll get to our objective destination. And I'll catch you later. This is Weedy from Weeby Gaming.